Secret IG Core IO. Where it's gonna go. God, getting another salve shipped out and He's taking a ton of work there from Yapsor. Oh yeah. He's really having a tough time kind of standing and banging there. But first blood's gonna be drawn there. Emo getting credit for it, taking out Puppy as there was a rotation over towards mid from the Tusk, so that leaves it a 3v2. They get an opportunity. However, now they might be able to get a kill here over mid. Kaka comes in, damage onto Nisha, but the shards are perfectly placed. The apps are in trouble still, though. He's taking a lot of damage here and will fall to Fly Fly. The Cleave. trade is there as Puppy TP's mid. Oh. And the Cleave almost kills Kaka. Gosh. Is there anything different you want to see from Secret at the moment? Because IG right now, they're rotating great. And I, as I say that, JT trying to get a solo kill, lands the Shackle right on it with a power shot and finishes easy. him off with the Focus Fire. Oh, they know exactly where kill. he is. The question is, can they move in? They're going right now. Level six. They have the finger, so there's a finger. possibility that they get this kill. They've got the Hex, the finger available. The nice. finish off Matumba Man. And they are just diving into the jungle, knowing where he's at. The vision's there. Yapsor now. Well, let's see if he can survive. Goes into the snowball, hits on to two. They look over at the lion. Kaka falls over to Nisha. No, yeah. they know they don't. Especially now with the crystal made in there, they need to back off. Yapsor is actually cutting off his path. Kaka needs to be careful. Go for Just the TP to out. They spotted Not the snowball, stuff. stopping the TP. Walrus punches there, and they'll get the kill on a Kaka. Well done by Secret to cut him off at the pass. And he finishes Agrim Sept already. Secret. Yeah, and I'm wondering if that's going to be enough to really turn this around. He's relocating into a bad spot. He's going to tether over onto the Abaddon. They'll use that all from Zai. Pull him back with the X as well as the boat coming through. Torrent landed. Emo in trouble. He's getting quite low. Looking for the freezing kill to get the kill on Emo. Ursus in on this, but it's not looking good for Fly Fly. They get the kill on a puppy. It's ending up a one for one. It's just a one for one for now, but Secret. They might get another one on Ali as he tries to run away from Zai, who ends up getting hit with the Earth Spike from Kaka. And, well, finger. maybe IG turn this around and they will with a finger. So, Kaka getting that kill onto Zai. Secret getting in Whoa, a little bit too him. deep. And they've got the Shackle to follow it up. Matumba Man, he's out a little bit too far. And now here comes Five Five, but they go the other direction. Stun out from Kaka, landing on a two. Oh. Yapsor has got Matu to follow. IG, that fight did not look like it was theirs to take. And all of a sudden, well, they come out ahead. Yeah, they really haven't had anybody really take over the map too much in terms of, like, it, you've got nowhere else to farm if you're the other cores. Sometimes you see that, especially with, like, an Alchemist, where he'll take over the entirety of the map, farm, he'll be at the top, but the rest of the team really doesn't get much out of the map at all, where IG right now, they're splitting it up pretty well. They land the Shackle, they're going to follow it up with the stun as well as the finger. They've got the Hex on Tanisha. He's in trouble. Snowball save. And is it going to be enough to keep this Kunkka alive? It's not looking likely. They'll get the kill on Anisha. They'll look over Yapsur, and Tusk is not long for this world. He doesn't have a snowball to save himself this time, and it's two euros down on the side, a secret. Yeah, and now this game is going to get really scary. Two PKB timings up yep. on JT, on Io. They yeah. find Dolly. They'll try to stay alive, borrow time, taking up as much Run the other way. time as he can. Nothing Ollie. he can do there, but build some space. I like getting bollied. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, it I works. stopped making myself laugh. They've got the X as well as the boat coming in. They're going to try and get a kill here on Emo. He's all by himself for the moment, just trying to maybe use that Aegis and get this team of Secret as closed in on him as possible to turn this around with the help of reinforcements. They've done just that to get a kill on Azai. Yeah, they've used that Aegis, but there wasn't much time left on it anyway. And they're going to relocate right in, right into a Torrent. They don't get anything out of this just yet. Tusk as well as Nisha are going to back off. Puppy. Puppy. Earth Spike. That landed. They stopped the TP. Well done by Kaka. They'll get themselves a second. Kaka on fire right now. JT with the double kill. He's got a killing spree. Uh, oh, I was pumping you up, dude. Uh, all right. And it just happens. Yeah. Blink forward, there's the air spike coming through. That's gonna actually stun up two of these heroes. Nisha gets stunned on the back of this. They'll use the snowball to save this alchemist with the BKB beam pop by Emo. They're gonna go after this Ursa. Walrus punch as he's in rage. They'll get the kill on a Yapsor. Trying to get a stun out. Maybe turn this around. Yeah, they saw. use the buyback on Tusk. They jump in, relocate though. That'll send them away. They've got oh, the X JT. on JT. They'll get the kill with the freezing field. Puppy, he gets credit for that one. And they're moving into the Roche pit? Really? It's so risky. This is a risky play that I think they feel that they need. Power shot already spots it, so the question is do they want to stick with this? They're relocating. Are you relocating? Shards aren't going to block this. 
So he's tethered over onto the earth, so they're gonna look over at Matumba Man, they're gonna go forward with this one. Kaka throws the sun out onto the Crystal Maiden, they've done a lot of damage onto Alu, silence up, he used that essence ring, Snowball onto the high ground, chasing over after Kaka. They've got the stun to get a kill, they'll take out one, the freezing field on the other side of the fight is Five Five, because his attention on the app, so he uses that Walrus Punch to put him up in the air, but it's not gonna no be enough back. to save himself. So a one for one so far, Zai right into the hands of Ayu, no back in the previous engagement, so now 75 seconds without this Venomancer, they'll look over at Puppy, who will root up this Ursa for a moment, but it's not looking likely that Puppy survives. He'll, he'll fall to Emo, and that's three dead on Secret. Tough if they want to initiate on this. It feels like as though Secret, all Aegis they can though. do is just watch them take the tower. Io occasionally coming in. I think in. they might be waiting for the Aegis timing. Yeah, which is now. And right now, they're going to make the jump on the timing, but they don't go after the Io, they go after the Ursa. They've got the silence. He can be now pumped in Alex. Boat Torrent, that's coming through on Emo, who popped the BKB. Ollie coming in with the borrow time being popped. He's up into the air with the Warlord's Punch being used by Yaxor, and they've used that ult, but Zai just taking so much damage. He ends up dead dominating here for Flyfly. They'll go after Nisha as well as Yaxor. They're going to try and cut off this Kunk at the pass. Good shards the to Bachmount for a second, but the man is through, and Nisha's in trouble. Freezing Field right into the IO, but he's nowhere near dead. He's going to eat that cheese. He'll stay alive. Puppy gone, and Nisha soon to follow. They're right on top of these heroes in a split up fight. The Alchemist has to TP back to the base. Puppy, he buys back, and well, this is an Ursa in pretty far. They still get the kill on the Yaps, where they look over at Puppy, who just bought back. He's hexed up by Kaka. They're still looking over at Nisha, who got back to the base. The damage on the JT. They get the kill to the Windrunner, and they'll take him out. It's just one dead on IG, though. As they'll look over at Emo, who's still postured quite forward, and will tether away from the base. IG still making Secret suffer with no answers. And my percentages are still not hitting. So they got 7% chance. Lucky number seven, anything can happen. They're gonna find themselves Ollie, but there's the shackle landing on the top of him. He's being popped here by the Windrunner. They've got the snowball, but it's not gonna be enough to save this Alchemist who's on the run. The shards <laughs> are though, so he walks away. They'll use that ult, but they've got the finger. They get the kill on his eye. They look over at Yapsor, who's hit by those shackles, connected to the tree and connected with Zai in death. Mm -hmm. Now, I just look looking close on this game. Looking for the Veno. Ooh, they're looking for the Venom, but they might even find more. They've got the Invisible Blade. They get the kill on his eye. He's going to be dead for 50 seconds. The damage is just so much. They're dealing with an illusion. Kaka blinks forward. He's got the Hex. They're going to look over as the finger hits on him. Atomic Man, he's trying to run away with the BKB. Can he get up the stairs? Can he get away? It's not looking likely. As going all the way in is JT, who's gotten too far. Stunned up. But Tumba Man still surviving. The torrent will land. They get the kill into the Windrunner. They're in a little bit too deep there on the Windrunner, who ends up dead for 83 seconds with buyback. But the Ursa, who's been disarmed, disarmed again. He can't right click and he can't do any damage, so they'll get the Alk away. IG Tether. stepping forward pretty far. Look at the health they've region. The X, they'll pull back Fly Fly, but it's not going to be enough. They've got the Abyssal Blade. And look at the damage coming in from Emo. He's attacking the tether target. And they've got that going to Yatsor. They'll get themselves the toss. Down goes Anisha. And it's just so much damage so quickly. He'll stun himself in the base. Are they going to dive? They were thinking about it. They, they turned him for a second, but they're going to get hit by the X as well as the Torrent. They'll look at turning this around as he also gets caught by Zai, but it's not going to be enough. They'll get the kill on a Madumba Man. They'll take him out and he'll buy back. Nisha now looking to chase his Emo and Five Fly try to leave the base. They've charged up the stun. They'll stun up Emo and he might just lose the Aegis, but this is only the first life that's taken out of the IO's hands. X coming out from Kaka that's right on top of Matumba Man who just bought back. Oh, Piper got his out. He might drop. He's down real low into the base and the right click's coming through to Nisha. He's bashed up, killed off, and gone. Kaka, as well as the Windrunner of JT, they're just not buying back because they're not needed at the moment. Emo, though, he's got the tether, he'll eat the cheese, he's back up to healthy, and now looking over at Zai with the right clicks coming in, he's godlike. Emo, not getting stopped in this game, and IG are looking like they're on their way to taking game one. But here comes the snowball coming out from Yapsor with the Walrus Punch, it's still just not enough damage! You Wait, can't kill damage? this ball of energy! They've thrown the stun over at a Fly Fly, but they have nothing to follow it up, so they can just stand here ready to trade. They've got a missile Blade ready in just a second, so let's see who will they go after. It's looking like they want Yapsor, who's going over to the top side of the base, but the Balls. spirit's coming through. The snowball will be over at Emo. You've basically signed, sealed, and delivered your death. The damage on the Alchemist! On Emo. Yapsor goes down, Matumba Man gone, and Game 1 goes the way of IG. Secret drop Game 1, and IG obliterate them. Like, after the no oh chance, I think it's time to uh, reliably back up on. I would say it depends on the lane. This lane, not really. Like Phoenix spell has like 40 seconds cooldown. Oh, oh Weaver. Weaver just dropping going here. Going down here, JT. Getting first blow on a Matumba Man. They're going to try and trade on the Kaka. 
Taka, though, he pops his stick. They get the stun out on a puppy. He gets the Abotic Shield off. This should explode and blow up Kaka. But, you know, you've got the follow-up from Kaka there, the combination with the Arena as well as the Supernova. So there's a lot here in terms of a team fight and control for IG. Kaka, oh, Kaka. I think he big just stick. drops if he's not careful. Uh, he's got a big stick. He has nothing to worry about. Watu thought about going for it, and there is the stick being used, but Good immediately hex. miscoil thrown his way. The lose Puppy, they've got the Hex onto Matumba Man with the Aether Ram and locking him up even longer. Kaka now chased and killed off by the Weaver. He at least gets something out of this. A lot of people tried to play it in this tournament. It just never really felt as impactful. Right. Ooh, Aether Ram lands. They've got the Air Spike to follow it up. Icarus Dive coming through. With the Hex, they have the control. They'll get the kill on Anisha, take out the Monkey King, and the rotations again this game from IG. Yeah, and this kill is going to give Void Spirit a chance to catch up a net worth. Monkey King really wants to dominate this lane. Just being 500 gold ahead is really not what you're looking for when you're the Monkey King. Zai. They've got double damage on Emo, and they're looking for an Aether Ramnian. Oh, it's out of the Monkey King! If they're going to go after again. once again. He just got back alive. Boundless Strike is out. He procs the Jingu, but the double damage is not going to be enough here for Emo. They get the kill on the Void Spirit, and they might even turn this on to Fly Fly. They had the control for a moment, but it didn't last long dead. enough, and now they're trying to turn this around onto the Phantom Lancer. He is in so much trouble. One shot from dead, and Nisha comes away on top. That is a big mistake from IG. Fly fly again. If he really, drops another time, really it's going to be so bad for him. Ooh, you can't do. It's going to proc. He can't go anywhere. He's hexed. He's gone. It's real. Oh, yeah. And the weight now is heavily pressed on the back of JT. He's having the best game so far for them, and he needs to continue to do so. They've got the stun. They'll have the Aether Remnant. They lock up Puppy, but there's the Primal Roar. The Hex comes out of the Beastmaster with the Aether Shock being used here on to Emo. They've got the Shackle. They'll have the control. They'll get the kill onto the Void Spirit. This is IG just playing their hand a little bit too early. He's doing JT. it just to trick you, and they're going to smoke up here on IG. JT has the Yules to try and set something up. They haven't broken the smoke just yet, but they need to catch up to these heroes. They'll need some sort of Astral Step jump to probably initiate here. They'll use the Yules onto the Abaddon, which I think already Secret are okay with. They'll use the Spear to lock him up. The Borrowed Time gets popped. Yep, so are coming over with the Hex. And now he's got this Phantom Lancer in a bad spot. They'll go to the Doppelganger. The Arena's now Good with the Supernova. Can they turn this around on the side of IG? They're starting to retreat a little bit. That Supernova hits. They've got the Sunray right on top of the Abaddon. Yapso ends up dead. They've got the Shadow Shaman gone first. They'll <laughs> use the Primal Lord to take out JT, and they'll lose Ollie. Two heroes dead on the side of IG as they land the two man Earth Spike on a Matumbo Man as well as Zai. And they'll start their retreat even further. But it's not looking like Kaka's going to get away. The Primal Spring is there. The damage comes out. And Matumbo Man has a kill onto Kaka. One piece of it. But once that's online, PL is going to be quite scared of this monkey. Great, they've got the vision that they need. Woo, I'm starting this off. Balance Strike going after the Void Spirit. They should be able to get the kill here on Emo. They'll start it off now with an Arena coming out from JT. He's already proc. The Wukongs is down, and IG used that arena just to leave. And while well, this is a tier two that's most likely going to fall, Yapzor looking for his opportunity with that Aether Lens to maybe find a hex into a shackle from a distance. And they're trying to just take the right fight, and that's maybe going to come off the timing of this Aegis expiring. There's still 80 seconds remaining on it, so we'll see what they can do. They'll pressure the Tier 1 tower mid. This is money in the bank for IG if they can grab it. Matumba Man coming over for a second with a Shikuchi. Doppelganger used by Flyfly just sent up in case Secret move in. Got a so down, concerned. and look at the damage on the fly fly. They've got the Yules up in the air. Is this Weaver? They've got the Aether Ramnit, but the Balance Strike comes through and hits on the Mars as well as the Void Spirit. They use the finger again. They get the gun of a Dumbo Man. Yes, they can. They take it out of the Weaver, but they look over now at Emo, who gets away with the Astral Snap. Shackle is out on the Ollie. Ollie trying to get away, but he's got the Supernova available, and he'll use it. So the turnaround comes out from IG. They're going to look over at the Abaddon. He's got the Abaddon Shield on him. Puppy will try to keep out the air. Spike lands on the Beastmaster. Astral Step that hits on the Monkey King as well as the Beastmaster. They should be able to get the kill on his side, and they will finish off. They look over now at Nisha, who who's locked up and killed off. That's only the first life, though, is they'll focus their attention onto Yapsor, who doesn't have any mana to really save him. So they've got the Aether Remnant. They have the lockdown. They'll get the second kill. Four heroes down on the side of Secret. And that is IG coming out on top. And they'll cut that lead from 5k to 2. It would have been, I think, a very rough team fight for Secret if the, if IG was to fight over there. He has no big and Monkey King. And Phantom Lens, of course, just finishes hard. But he gets away with it. Putting them into a pretty comfortable position here. 
Seeker can really take advantage of having this Aegis. They did a good job of sneaking that out of the hands of IG. Really well done to get into the pit. It's seen it all. And ooh, thinking about going into the Wukong's command, he faints it twice. A strike. That's only gonna land on the GT that looks for tension onto the bars. So it goes down the arena. The look over is the supernova was over to the side. The finger's gonna be thrown out onto the Bunky King. Nisha trying to fight the GT with the BKB. Supernova never gets off. They get the kill on the Ollie. They'll take a JT2 here's down the side of on the back on Zo. It's the Phantom Lancer who's trying to get the Shadow Shaman. He'll get low. Fly Fly gets the kill on the App Store. And now he'll look over at the rest of the team. But can he do enough? Emo's here to help him. The Aether running only locks up a four. And they'll get the kill onto Nisha. They'll take the first life out of the hands of the Bunky King. They got the side of three for the axe by Emo. They'll use that time lapse Matoma Man. After he's confident enough to fight. They hit the battle strike on the Emo, but continue to those five. Oh, the here. The illusion going after side. Secret got the Garnish. They'll lock his eye. They'll eat the cheese. Still surviving. Wukong's used and out of the circle they'll go. But are they going to continue the pace on the side of Secret? They've got the heels on of a tumble man. And again, the top of the looking at the faces of Secret. They have the right damage coming over to Nisha. He survived so many times, but he won't survive this time. It looks like he's still fighting Fly Fly. They've got three heroes going after the Phantom Lancer, who's tumbling here once again. They're it's bad all for the focus on the Phantom Lancer. They've given up going after Emo, but Kaka comes back to fight. They land the Earthquake on a two, and they've got Emo back into the fray. If they're in the land, they get the kill on Nisha. They look over to Fly Fly, who's still going help. But Tumble Man, he's been hexed up by Kaka. They'll get the kill to Weaver, and they look over at East Master as well. Puppy's got the borrowed time pops and trying to cheek out. They can kill on the side. They look over a puppy who's being taken out of the TV, stunned up again, <laughs> killed up and gone, and IG somehow, some way, they come out ahead. This Phantom Lancer is ridiculous. I don't know how much health he had throughout this entire fight, but it feels like a good 10,000, maybe even more. He just kept standing there, tanking, 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 until all the IG heroes respawned ultimately and got back into the fight. This is exactly what we spoke about when we say hard timing on Phantom Lancer. Perfect example, once again, why so strong, and now they're knocking on Ivan. It just wasn't enough. I can't believe IG is about to 2 0 secret. Oh, psychic headband, that's gonna be big there for Kaka. Having yeah. that extra cast range is just gonna make a Secret's lives a living hell. I mean, you saw in that last fight, once Kaka walked his way back into the fight, he had the Earth Spikes, he had the hexes that were there necessary for IG to win the fight. That's also the Mind Blast, it's really good against the Monkey King. Usually you stand on the edge of your ult, if you get Mind Blast right away, you're gone. You're gonna go after the Monkey King. Sunray run on top, got similarly towards the finger of the Earth. Oh. Like Aisha, they'll take him out. The borrowed time is going to be caught by Puppy. They're going to Icarus dive in. I don't think they need to use that supernova just yet. They've got the heels up into the air. Puppy trying to run, but he is locked down. Field off and gone. They've got the Super Wars around the JT. The supernova is going to be a high ground. JT will survive. BKB pop the goal after Zai's trying to get away, but backed up. And now he's got nowhere else to run, nowhere else to hide. They're going to get the kill to Zai. There's nowhere else for him to go. He's going to die again. Tier 3 is going to drop here, and IG is looking to make a statement. They're going to jump in with the Astro Shop. They've got the Silence out of the Abaddon, as well as the Shadow Shop. They get the kill on the Abster. He's going to be forced to buy back immediately with the Borrowed Time. Be popped by Puppy. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 He's on oh, five. Three, three seconds without this Weaver, and it's looking like the Hulks are starting to go away. They've got the up into the air onto the Monkey King, who threw down the Wukong Spans. They've got the Aaron, and so even though he's got the circle out, he's in control, and he is in some trouble. Ether Shot thrown by the Abster. It's not going to be enough to really deter the side of IG. They've got the Silence coming in from Emo once again. Look over the Abster. It's about XPG by Fight Fly. Battle Strike comes in, and that's going to be the Void Spirit. They should be able to get the kill. Shadow Shop, and they do. Emo goes into the symbol trying to die. GD! IG will 2 0 upset Secret and they will move on to tomorrow with a stellar performance as they take this.